Right, if you were Christian Horner right now, would you make any changes to the way you operate your two drivers? What you say to them? Uh, what would you do? I wouldn't. I'd, I'd, I wouldn't. If I was Christian Horner, I would have probably handled the situation a little bit better than what they did because I don't think they managed the two drivers out during the race at all. Um, they should have made a call. Uh, I think Daniel was clearly quicker than, than, than Max and they should have made a call and said, you go past him. Mm. Uh, um, yes, they're, they're both number ones, but you can't, you've still got to manage each race as it comes. Um, and I don't think they managed that one at all. And perhaps we don't know everything that was said on the radio and perhaps Christian did attempt to do that. We don't know. But it did, it, it reminded me of Malaysia 2013. Do you remember Christian saying, oh, come on, Seb, this is getting silly. That doesn't seem to me the absolutely authoritarian directive from the pit bull that we would have expected from Ross Braun, uh, for instance. But is that because Red Bull, in theory, if we look at the whole core of it, perhaps are more orientated towards Max than they are Daniel? I was about to say the same thing. Yeah. I, I think it backs up the theory that, that, that Red Bull are much more behind Max than they are behind Daniel. I think that's probably right, and that was why... Christian, who I rate very highly, but I think he was torn, probably. Well, somebody tore him. <laughs> In other words, the guy next to him, Marco. <laughs>